at Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. Today we announced the MakerBot Digitizer, desktop 3D scanner. And this is, this sort of adds to the, you know, we also have the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. And these two together, you know, add up to the, the washer dryer combo of replication. When you have a scanner, you can take physical objects and make them into digital objects. Kind of like in Tron when Flynn, you know, gets digitized into the game grid, into the virtual world. You can do this with things now. And if you have a MakerBot 3D printer, you can then make them again, or you can modify them in their digital designs and make them different. So it's a whole new frontier, it's a whole new way of thinking, and it's, um, it's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to see what people do with it, what people will digitize. What we launched today actually is a prototype, so there's a lot more work to do on it. Okay. The MakerBot Replicator 2 has a resolution of 100 microns, which is uh, very, it's, it's as thin as a piece of paper, and then has a build volume of 410 cubic inches, and you know, which is, and it can make things about the same size as a shoebox. So the digitizer has this work cut up, cut cut out for it. You know, it'll 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 make things at a very high resolution, and you know the way it works is two lasers shine on the object, the two laser lines, and then a, a, a camera takes pictures as it turns around, and. What it sees, because the, the, the laser line is a little bit off center, it shows a, 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 the line is wiggly. And that, as it turns around, it makes up the 3D model. So for, as it turns, it makes it up. And when it's all turned around, it's gone around one revolution, it makes you a model. And it closes it all up. And it's, that's kind of the, the pretty impressive part, is it makes a water, what we call in 3D modeling, a watertight 3D model. Right. So you can just make you can you can go in less than three minutes go from a thing to a digital design and then fire up your MakerBot replicator too and go back and make as many of those things as you want. We just also announced today our partnership with Autodesk and the consumer team, which is all the one two three D applications. And there's so many cool things you can do with that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what people do with all of these things combined together. You know, it all creates this 3D ecosystem that allows us to, you know, find different, it just opens up all sorts of pathways for people to be creative and explore the frontier of what's next. Everything starts to overlap where we've got, you know, Thingiverse, we've got MakerBot Replicator 2, Desktop 3D Printer, the MakerBot Digitizer, Desktop 3D Scanner. It all starts to, to connect, you know, and, and that's, that's going to be really fun because right now we have like a there's something like a hundred things uploaded to Thingiverse every day, and that's a hundred things you can make today that you couldn't make yesterday. You know, I think we've gotten to the part where most people know what 3D printing is, and that's a huge leap forward from where we were four years ago when we launched when we, when we started the company MakerBot. And what I see happening in the near term is we're going to get to a place where everybody knows somebody who has one, and then we'll get to a place where it's ubiquitous. And what's so great is that with each MakerBot. You know, 3D printer that goes out the door, that's a whole like, frontier that people are going to get that and everybody's going to do different and amazing things with that. I, I, you know, going to Thingiverse every day and seeing all the new things is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So at MakerBot we've got a big educational component. We want people to be, you know, we, want to, we want to empower people to use this because it's a great feeling when you make something and it's yours and you've designed it and you've shared it and it's, it's a physical thing you can hold it. And more people need to have that feeling. And, to us, that's the next industrial revolution. Empowering all of us to have the ability to make the things we need, to, to, to have ideas and create the things that we desire, and to do that you know, on our own desktop.